In this video, I'm gonna share with you five of my favorite free Instagram tools that are gonna make your stories pop. Hey everybody, Katie Lance here, founder and CEO of Katie Lance Consulting, the Get Social Smart Academy, and author of the book, Get Social Smart. And it's episode 139 of the Get Social Smart show, and today I'm gonna to share with you five of my favorite resources for making your Instagram stories pop. Once you pop, the fun don't stop. Now, why are we talking about Instagram stories? Well, first of all, there are more than 500 million daily users with Instagram stories, and Instagram is one of the fastest growing social media platforms. And I see a lot of you posting in the Instagram newsfeed, which is great, but one of the ways to get more traction on Instagram, more engagement, more likes, and ultimately more business is to use Instagram stories. And we're seeing real estate professionals who are using Instagram stories in a really smart way to share kind of the behind the scenes, the, the story behind the story of their business. But a lot of times when it comes to real estate, you might feel like, gosh, is this really that interesting? You know, it might feel, feel a little boring or maybe even a little stale. So we're going to give you some ideas to kind of spice it up bam, bam, bam. and have fun, still stay within your brand, still stay within true to who you are, but also how to have a little fun and keep people engaged and keep people tapping through your story. All right, my first tool I wanna to recommend is color. Color makes a big, big difference. And so one of the things we try to do with our Instagram stories is be really true to our color palette. Now, if you've been to our website or you've seen any of our social media posts, our colors are red, and then we have this really kind of pretty teal turquoise. So when I'm posting to my Instagram stories, especially anything business related, I really try to stick to that color palette. Now, a little tip that you may not realize is that you're not limited to just the colors that you see on Instagram stories. You can actually hover over any one of those colors, press down, for example, Example, on red, you can press down on that and you'll see a little eyedropper, a little kind of teardrop icon that will pop up and you can adjust uh, to find the right shade of red or teal or yellow or purple, whatever color it is that you're looking for, which is great. So you can do that when it comes to the text that you're typing. You can do that in terms of uh, a background color or even uh, the little pencil crayon if you want to doodle or you know make a little design or something on your Instagram story. And as a little bonus tip, if you're looking to make a color as a background, one of the things that we love to do is on your Instagram stories, you can just take a picture of anything. It doesn't matter your wall or table, whatever. And then you find that color that you want and you hit that little pencil icon. So hit the pencil icon, find the color you want and just tap the screen and your entire background will fill to that color. So if you're looking for just a you know background of red or background of yellow, whatever it might be, it's a really simple way to kind of spice up your Instagram stories, but color definitely makes a big difference. The second tip I wanna share with you are fonts. So fonts make a big difference and you have a little bit of a limitation when it comes to fonts on Instagram, uh, but what I try to do is try to have the same fonts depending on what that story is all about. So for example, uh, if I'm on a trip, I will try to, if I'm doing an Instagram story, about that trip or that vacation, I will try to have the fonts be the same throughout the whole story so it looks unified, right? Now, your story might be a little bit of behind the scenes working with clients and then you're at home with your kids and then, you know, you're out and about, yeah, you know, meeting with prospects. And so your story might not just be one entire thing. It might be kind of snippets throughout your day. So using different fonts can kind of help tie together different parts of your story in a big way. My third tip are using GIFs. Use GIFs or GIFs, I never know how to say it right. GIFs and GIFs are great. They're a great way to keep the uh, keep it fun, keep it play playful. I always like to say movement creates action. And so one of the things we like to do as, I, as we're posting our Instagram stories, I will go into GIFs and I'll search for something specific. Uh, maybe a heart or a star or the word wow or the word thank you. Um, and then we will add that into the Instagram story. It's just kind of a fun, again, sort of fun and playful thing. You can even search for specific things. Like I mentioned, our brand colors are red and teal. So a lot of times I'll look for a red star or a teal heart and we'll look for things that are specific to our brand colors within gifts. Now, one of my favorite gifts that some of you have seen me use is the one that say tap here or new post. And I love using those because as I'm posting in the Instagram news feed, when I have a new post, in the Instagram newsfeed, there's a little airplane icon and you can tap that and share that to your story. So when I share that to my story, you'll see it in my story. And I love going into gifts and finding a little gift that says new post or tap here, which I'll put on there, which means when people see that in my story, they can tap and it'll take them back 
to my my store my my uh, post inside my feed. So it's a great way to repurpose content. You guys know if you've seen any of my other YouTube videos, we talk a lot about repurposing, recycling uh, content, and so that's a small thing that can make a really big difference. My fourth tip is music. You know, there's just something about music, and now I will say for whatever reason, some folks will reach out to me and say that they don't have this feature on Instagram, and I'm not sure why. It's something that is supposedly rolled out to every Instagram user, so I recommend that you make sure you've got the the most updated version of Instagram on your phone. But in the little section where you can pull up GIFs and polls and questions, one of the things that you can also find in there are music. And I did this recently. I was at Inman Connect in Las Vegas and was shooting just kind of a fun video, just sort of panning uh, the strip and showcasing some of the hotels. And so I went into the music feature and searched just the word Vegas to see what songs would come up. And I found Viva Las Vegas. And so I, I tapped that and then I was able to just play just a quick like 15 or, or 20 seconds second clip across the video. So imagine as you're out and about, maybe you're just, you know, out and about and you want to do some Instagram stories of a new listing or, you know, uh, something in your community, a fun park. Instead of just doing a video, maybe uh, experimenting a little bit and adding music, click that music button and then search for things that maybe are related to that video. Maybe it's something happy or something upbeat or something holiday related. It's just an extra little thing that kind of catches people's eyes and keeps them moving throughout your story. Now, by the way, if you want people to listen to the music, if you go back into GIFs, you can search something in GIFs I like to search is the word sound on. And you can search the word sound on, which will give you lots of little icons. You could put that icon on your Instagram story so people know, hey, turn the sound on when they're listening to your Instagram story. All right, my fifth tip for really kind of spicing up your Instagram stories, um, it's actually kind of two for one, super zoom and boomerang. Super zoom and boomerang. These are both really fun ways just to kind of spice up and add that sort of playfulness to your Instagram stories. So I like to use these a lot for fun with my kids, but also just for business. You know, if I'm showcasing something that we're doing, if we're showcasing one of our events, like our mastermind event, or maybe I'm showcasing a dinner with our Get Social Smart Academy members, instead of just posting a, a feature, we might do something fun like a boomerang, right? Or a, a use that super zoom feature. And the super zoom feature is really fun because it, it'll give you some fun little music and uh, some fun little uh, kind of filters that, that just make a video just a little bit more fun, just a little bit more playful. So those are just a few things that can make a big difference. Like I said, uh, using color, really having fun with your color, fonts. By the way, when you're using those fonts, I gave you some great tips for using fonts, but also make sure you're captioning your videos. That's important because sometimes we never turn the sound on on a video. Some of you are watching this right now without the sound on, right? So using those fonts, using that typesetting, that's important using GIFs, using music, using that super zoom feature, using that boomerang feature. Those are all fun things that will really keep people engaged and really just kind of spice up your Instagram stories. And by the way, as a bonus tip, there's so many other things that you could do with your Instagram stories, things like polls, questions, all kinds of interactive features. But what we found is you have to use some of these other things first to really kind of get people engaged, get people coming back into your Instagram stories, and then you can take it to that next level with polls and questions and, and even more fun and interactive things. So I encourage you to use Instagram stories and I would love to hear from you. Are you using Instagram stories? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe we've inspired you. If you're watching this, by the way, and you're an active Instagram stories user, I would love for you to take a picture right now. Okay, I'm gonna pose. You ready? <laughs> Did you get it? Yep. All right, take a picture and post this to Instagram stories and tag me. Use one of these fun tools that we talked about and tag me in the post. I'm just at Katie Lance on Instagram. I'll make sure to reshare that back out and give you a shout out on Instagram. So let me know again in the comments, are you using Instagram stories? Yes or no? And by the way, if you're listening to this and you're feeling like, holy cow, I need to get a handle on my Instagram strategy. We have got a really awesome Insta guide for you. We created a whole free PDF. It's like 15 or 16 pages. It's the Insta guide to Instagram for real estate. Uh, if you go to katielance.com forward slash Insta guide, you could download it for free, print it up, and it'll give you tons of tips and tools and strategies, not just for Instagram stories, but really how to put together your complete Instagram strategy. All right. Now, if you're watching this over on YouTube, I have to remind you, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button because we have new videos that come out each and every week, and that will keep you notified when we have new videos. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, post about us on Instagram, and 
For more information, for tips, tools, and strategies, go to katielance.com. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.